Hi everyone, we're back again. This is going to be an obstacle course this week. You can do this however you want, depending on what equipment you've got at home. You could make it a fitness obstacle course, a skills based, you could choose one or two sports, you could have a range of sports, however you want to do it. And um, you can do it on your own and time yourself, you can do it with brother or sister, mum or dad or the whole family. I'm going to show you a bit of a skills and a fitness one here today. This is just an example for you. You can obviously do whatever you have at home, space that you have, the equipment um, and all those things. You can choose use some of our fitness things we've used or you can copy any of the activities I've got here. So I'm going to start at the starting point. I've got my tennis racket, lots of you have tennis rackets at home and a tennis ball. I'm going to practice keeping the ball up in the air. So some of you may just be confident with this, see how many you can do before the ball hits the floor. Some of you may feel a bit more confident turning the racket over like this. You may um, have a wall and you want to be able to hit against the wall, see how many hits against the wall you can do. You may have a brother or sister, you may want to do a bit of a rally with them, that's up to you. So you can have a set time, you can say 30 seconds on that, put it down, you're then going to move on to the next one. I've got a volleyball here, so we do a lot of volleyball, Newcomb, volley stars at school. I'm going to practice just setting the ball above my head. So notice I'm using my fingertips, 10 fingers in the air, and I'm pushing to the sky with my fingertips. Watch again, count them, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you can see how many you can do, or have a time limit again. Put that down, running over here, got a soccer ball. We'll do some soccer activities in a couple of weeks. For this one, you may want to do sole taps, so nice and slowly. You may want to go quicker, see how long you can do it for. You may want to um, do some side to sides and try and keep looking forward. And, or you might want to do some juggling. So depends on how confident you are. You may want to drop the ball, kick, catch. Watch again, drop, kick, catch. If you're more confident, you may want to just try and do two in a row and then catch and then try and do three in a row. And the more confident you get, you may want to try and beat your top score as many that can be. Remember, you can't use your hands. Also, hopefully your dog doesn't get in the way. So you can't use your hands, but you can use any other parts of your body for the soccer one. Coming over here. It's a bit of fun with some throwing, catching, one-handed. You can try some throwing up and catching behind your back. See how many you can do, just like that. You need to be creative with this. And then over here, I've got a tennis ball. Put some cricket stumps there. You might have cricket stumps, you might have a cone or something different to use as a target. Pack some over on throwing, so stepping and hitting, trying to hit the target. How many times can you hit the target? You then dedicate a fitness area where you can do a range of fitness activities. So it might be some uh, pop squats, which is going down the normal squat and then pushing yourself back up into a jump. It might be some core work that we've done. So for example, we've done the shoulder taps before. You can also do the toe taps as well, where you're touching your shins or you're touching your toes. And however many you can do, might be some push-ups, might be some jumping side to side using the hoop. It could be some mountain climbers where you're trying to go as fast as you can, bringing your knees up to your chest. Okay, um, and then coming round from the cricket one, the last one here, skipping. I've got a skipping rope here. If you haven't got one, you could maybe be imaginative and use some rope. If you haven't got a skipping rope, you haven't got to do that. You could do some different activities here. Get like a here, and just practice the skipping. How many skips could you do in 30 seconds? Putting that down there. So be creative, be imaginative based on fitness skills, however you want to, and um, work with family members. It could be a really fun activity to do at home. Thank you.